Hi everyone, welcome to Pal to Tech Live to our live electronic campfire. This is number 17, Friday. I hope everyone is doing great. It is so good to see you today. We have a great, I should say I have, because I'm the only one here. I have a great show for you. We've got a lot to cover. So let's get to it. Before I continue, let me look at the chat here. Mr. Jarble, I am so glad you're here. I didn't see you on the Zoom call, so I was concerned. But it's great that you're here. I understand you have to go back to work. Got to earn a living. I get it. So um, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, I even have, hold on, where's that little thing? I've got a new setup here. I'm improving. I'm getting better with each live stream and I'm adding more stuff. <laughs> yeah. So watch, watch this. Let me see if I can make this thing work. So when someone like Mr. Jarble puts in a super chat, yeah, I want to recognize that. So I'll drag it over here and I'll go, yay! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just, you know, if that gets on your nerves after a while, let me know. But, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just experimenting here. So who do we have with us? We got Catherine, hi, from Kentucky. Oh, I've seen you. Great, great, great. I'm glad you're here. We got Keith. Hello, Keith. David, Nancy, George, I just saw you. I'm so glad you're here. Who else is here? Boy, we got a lot of people today. What are we at? Um... Oh my goodness, we're at 156 people watching already, and I haven't done anything yet. So I think we should get to it. Oh wow, that's all I have to say. Oh wow. So, my first question of the day. Did anybody order an XT5 from B&H on opening day? <laughs> right, on the day it was released? Oh boy. So. I don't want to go too far down that road, but at, oh, Ron, thank you so much for joining the channel. Please go to paltotech.com slash discord and to find out how to join the discord server. I'm really glad you joined. You, you can now join the server. So anyway, B and H. <laughs> so I looked at my order status. I placed an order for an XT5 on the minute it became available at b &H. Not the same day, but the same minute, okay? And I looked and it said back ordered, back ordered, back ordered. And I'm looking and online people are, you know, look at me and my XT5. People had them already and I wasn't sure where they got them. I think someone had one from Adorama. Anyway, so mine just said back ordered. And uh, there were two other items from b &H, and those were on their way. One of them I'm gonna unbox, and <laughs> the, the little grip thing that, with, that comes with the X-T5, they ship that, so I thought, maybe there's a problem, you know, I don't know. So I called them up. I literally just, you know, called b &H, and they answer their phone within one minute. It was within literally 60 seconds I had a human being on the phone. And, I, and I'm not gonna say who it is, but I spoke to somebody there, very, very nice person, and I said, hey, um, where, what's up with the order? I gave them my order number, and they said, yeah, there's kind of an issue with the cameras. We don't right have the shipment yet. We're not gonna get it in, possibly, till end of November. And I'm like, no, no. So I thought, all right, that's, that's not good for me and the channel. I, I need that X-T5, too sweet, right? I need it quickly. So I got off the phone with b &H, and I reached out to Fujifilm and I said, hey, Fujifilm, <laughs> what's up with the cameras in b &H? And they honestly didn't know a thing about it. Now, it could be it's a different department and, you know, it's a big company. One department doesn't know what the other departments. That's normal. They didn't know. They hadn't heard of it. They weren't sure about it. But I said, is there any way you could send a loaner to me? in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my copy of X-T5. And not only did they say yes, they sent it overnight. They sent it overnight. It's right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an X-T5 loaner model test unit, okay, that I have to return to, be, to not be an H2, Fujifilm. And I have it, so I, I am so excited. Uh, we'll take a look at it in just a second. But that's not the end of the saga. That is not the end of the saga. Before I get to part two, 
Ken, thank you for the super chat so much. Andrew, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so glad. I'm not gonna do the air horn on all of them, just a few, maybe then, you know, the really expensive ones. No, I don't know if I'll do the air horn much. It's, it can be annoying. Thank you both so much for the super chat. So part two. So then within a couple of minutes after getting the confirmation that Fujifilm had shipped me an X-T5, I get an email from B&H and it said, your order is on the way. What? And I had paid for the best shipping. You know, B&H is weird. You got all different kinds of shipping. I mean, they've got, you know, beam it there like Star Trek going all the way down to carrier pigeon drops it off. You know, I had beam in there like Star Trek. I had the, you know, the next day before 1030 thing. Anyway, it arrives. So, I haven't even opened the shipping box yet. So I went from having no X-T5s to now there are two X-T5s in here, okay? So this I am not going to open at all. And the reason is I want to shoot a video of a complete unboxing, okay? I'm going to do that. I did that with the X-T3, the X-T4. I'm going to do that with this. So this is mine. I do not have to return this. This is black, and this is an X-T5, and I'm just going to... Put it over there. But this one is from Fujifilm, all right? And so I don't know what color it is. I haven't opened this yet. This is good. Hey, we're doing this together, right? We're going to do this together. So let me get, uh, you know, if I need a knife, I always like to do that. And let's open it up and see. I'm not going to demo it. I'm not going to turn it on. I have another demo for you today we are going to do. So... We're just gonna quickly look and see what color it is, and I'll take it out, and we should be good there. Okay, this is the, this is it right here, Fujifilm. Now, what's interesting, if you look, it says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says editor sample. See that? Oh, I just realized it's black, look. Okay, so I'm gonna have two black versions of the X-T5. That's okay, that's all right. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at this little, uh, little, they threw in a little SD card. Cool, cool. What else do we have? In here? Oh, yes. Oh, this is the first time I am holding an X-T5 on this channel. And do you know how many videos you're gonna see me holding this camera? It'll be my other one, but it'll be the, this camera. So yeah, look at that. Oh, there's that. Look at this flip around screen. Look at this. Have a look at this. Just like the X-T3. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. And I was right. These knobs, they seem like they're a little bit larger. The placement, the feel. Oh, yeah. Definitely like the new controls. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Do we have focus? There we go. Um, let me see this. There. There we go. Try and get it a little bit brighter so you can see it. There it is. How's that? Okay. So that's the X-T5 demo test unit. Uh, as far as what else comes in the box, um, you know what? I don't even really want to get into it much because, remember, this is a test unit. It doesn't represent what, you know, Joe Q average person gets. But this looks like the usual suspects. USB-C cord. Uh, we got this dongle that I will lose within a week for the you know the headphones. We've got all these international plugs and we've got a Fujifilm camera strap. And I think probably in here is a manual somewhere. Nope, no manual. I think that's online. So, okay. That's the X-T5 to be continued. We are definitely going to to be continued this and I am going to be putting together a video very very soon of this and I'll be sending this back to Fuji and using my own. So, okay. Okay. All right. Let's get back to how are we doing, everybody here? Let's do a quick check-in. Oh, what a beautiful camera. All right. Just knowing it's here oh, it feels so good. Um, okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Dave Dialect, how you doing? <laughs> you sh yes, you did. You absolutely did. Good. You did good. Uh, let's see. Oh, Liz. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're gonna get into that. In fact, why don't we get into it right now? But first, 
we have something in here. Now, I have no idea what and how, oops, there it is. Here it is, right here. Small little box, you see that? It's the hand grip. Okay. Let's see what this is. Not much to it. Very solid. Nice grip there. Where's the XT5? Hold on. Okay. Of course, I'm going to put this thing on. <laughs> I got to see how it is. <laughs> I could get it on the right way. Now, one thing about this grip, you can kind of screw it on, but you're gonna need a tool, obviously. It doesn't have uh, like a little handle thing that you would expect. Um, okay, so first impression. Wow, yes, this does make a huge difference. Obviously it has the Arca Swiss at the bottom, but and space, as you can see here, to take out the battery, right? There it is right there. Um, there's the sizing. See that? That's not bad. Um, what would I compare this to? Well, how about an X-H2? Let's see. Okay, so let's take a look at these side by side. You can see them. The X-H2 is definitely heftier, deeper. You see that? X-H2 is on the right, but this does have a really nice feel to it. Now, I really can't give you a summary and a conclusion until I walk around for a couple of hours with a nice big lens on this thing, and does it really help me ergonomically? It feels good, but everything feels good when you first take it out of the box. So. This is not a review, just to be clear, but uh, it looks, it, I'll tell you something, it seamlessly fits on here. I mean, I love it. It's, it's awesome. So, okay, so that took care of that. Take care of this. All right, now let's get to the main event. The main event today. How's everybody doing, okay? I mean, you get through your week all right? Greetings from Italy, hello, hi there. We got uh, better ergonomics. Okay, everybody's there. Waving at birds. Yes, that is a quarter thread hole at the bottom. Yes, it is. Absolutely it is. Um, good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> right. Now, I have been very excited about this 30 millimeter macro lens. And up until this point, I have been pretty much shooting yeah, see, I don't even have it here. It's in my product area over there. I use it all the time. I'm constantly shooting macro shots. So this is something that, you know, Fuji has the 80 millimeter macro and I'm looking forward to comparisons. Now I can't give you a comparison between this and the 80 because I don't have the 80 and I've not used it enough to feel like I can really talk about it. However, I plan on making a number of videos on this lens. Um, and what I would like to do right now on live, you know, live show right now is we're going to open this lens up. I'm going to show it to you. And then I'm going to shoot a couple of macro shots with it. I'm going to publish those RAF raw files and I'm going to send you the download link right now, live while we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> no pressure here. All right. So what I'd like to do is get this Thing ready here. We've got this to open. Anybody on the stream? Bup, bup. Okay, good. Greetings from Earth. Greetings to you, sir. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this, this lens, just a couple of things you should know about it, okay? First of all, it is a one-to-one -one macro capability. It has fast inner focusing, minimal focus breathing, weather resistant, but look at the bottom one there. 3.9 inch minimum focus. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. So I'm excited about that. So let's get to it. Let's open this thing up. Uh, 
Now, see, this is funny. This came, oh boy, this is too hot. Um, this came with an owner's manual. <laughs> Quite a big one. You know, the X-T5, at least now I haven't opened the regular, you know, consumer version, but the, t the test one didn't have a manual. This lens has a manual, so there you go. Came with that, all right. And there's like a, you know, one of those phone number call for, oh, a bag, look at this. We have a bag in here. This will really protect this lens. And what I've been doing with these actually is I will drape these over like, um, I'll drape these over boxes, little small boxes, and I'll put the item that I'm gonna take the shot of. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. That's what I use these for. I never use these as bags, ever. I mean, do, do you use those things as bags? I don't think so. Um, okay, let's get to it. First, we have a lens hood. Okay, there it is. 30. Same plastic lens hood that we have from Fuji. This is, it's solid, but it's, it's the same plastic material. No, you didn't do anything differently with that. Now, here's the lens. Look at that. Okay, so we go from F22 to F2.8. Wow, nice metal, look at that. Can you hear, can you hear it? Sounds pretty good. It has a, a locking mechanism so that when you put it into A, it locks into A. And then you have to press this red button here. You have to press this red button here to take it out of the locks. You press the button and now you can turn it. And then when you turn it, it goes lock. And you gotta press, whoops, like that. And now it's locked into automatic. Yeah, that's interesting. So. This is unusual in that I'm used to, uh, and tell me if this, if you're like this, but when you have an aperture ring, sometimes you're accidentally throwing it into A by spinning that ring, right? I, I have a few lenses that are like that. You can't do that with this lens. If you're turning it and you're not paying it, let's say it's on your camera and you're just quickly rushed and you're turning it. If you turn it all the way to F22, it stops at F22. So it'll stop right here, boom, boom. And then to get it further, you gotta press this in and take it there. And once it's there, it's locked. And to get it out, you gotta press that to get it out. So, there you go. Okay, uh, is there anything else in the box? I don't think so. No. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is, it's tempting to put this on an X-T5. I'm not gonna put this on an X-T5. First of all, I don't have, I wanna open that and I wanna shoot an unboxing and all that. And besides that, I want to get you raw files from an older camera so that you can really, you don't need the latest and greatest camera. I want this lens on an older camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on an X-T3, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to use this camera for this demo. And um, let's see if I can make this work. This will be about a 50-50% chance I can make this work in a live stream. <laughs> Normally, it, I'll, I'll work on this for a week for a video to demo this. So I've got this camera here, and what's interesting is that this macro lens is kind of similar in size, I guess you could say, and almost in shape, to the 35 millimeter F2, right? So they're kind of similar. Um, and what I'm gonna do, let's get this on here. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay, we got the lens on the camera. Let's put the lens hood on. Here's what it looks like. You see that? There it is. Have a look at this, see? All right, looks pretty good. Okay, so I got this on the camera. All right, now. I need to take a I take a shot of something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a watch, okay? Um, and I have this right here. 
It's a little, it's a watch just on a box. I don't know if you can see it or not. I hope you can, but it's a, it's a watch on a box. And I'm just going to put this right here. And I come prepared. I, I brought some light, right? Let there be light. I got some light here. Get some light on this thing. Boom. And listen, I'm rushing through this, okay? <laughs> so please forgive me if this isn't an outstanding macro shot. But I want to get something with this lens so that you can have a raw file and see it. So we got a little bit of light coming there. I got another little light I'll, whoops. I got another little light I'll hold kind of, you know, near it. Maybe give it a little bit of color, I don't know. <laughs> so let's get, I got to turn this thing on and make sure that you can see through this lens. Uh, hold on, 160, F2.8. Let's go to... All right, so um, can you see? Three, two, one. Yes, yes, you can. Cool, look at that. All right, so I'm going to put the camera right here, okay, just like this. I'm putting the camera pretty close to it. Um, and I'd like to actually get this a little higher up there. This is, this is not the right tripod to use for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need like a box or something. Hold on. <laughs> See if I can do this. All right, that's better. <laughs> it's not great, but it's better. Whoop, there we go. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, let me turn this a little so we can get even closer to it. It's the problem. Yeah, I, I need a, I didn't think I could get this close. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Have a look at this. I need more light here. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I need, I do need more light. And I need a lower box. You know what? I'm going to ditch this box. I'm going to use this smaller one right here. Cover this up. Okay. There. Let's put this here. Okay. This will work better, I think. Just getting this done. I probably should have rehearsed this. Okay. So let's get back to the camera view. Let's get back to the camera view here. Okay. No, I don't want normal. I want boost mode. And, uh, okay. Shutter speed is at 60. ISO, all right. Now, if you look, and I don't know if you can see this or not. Can you see it with this camera? I am really close. I, I mean, I'm as close as you can get to this. Um, it, it, it's, it's actually, it's so close. Hold on. It's a one-to-one. -one. <laughs> and you do need light. You definitely need the light. Look at that. Look at that. That is incredible. That is just incredible. Look at that, how close I am. In fact, I am going to have to take this off, okay, and uh, see if I can get any, any closer to this. There we go. I'm going to hold, I'm just going to have to hold the watch. <laughs> Look at this. It is so close. Oh my goodness. I'm right through the glass. See that? I'm going to have to use more ISO and a higher shutter speed. Okay, 
Can you see any of these images that are not? Is it? I don't even know if it's coming through on the live stream. Um, but uh, I need to get a little bit more light here. But I got one shot. I'm going to try a couple more. But, I mean, I'm shaking, you know, I've had too many cups of coffee. But, but it is... I'm, I'm astounded. The word is astounded so far. I mean, at F8, I think, let me go and try it at F, yeah, I'm going to put it to F8 again. Try and get to the center point. Yeah, all right. Look, hold on, if you can see it, sorry. Uh... I'm going to have to have a faster shutter speed at the amount of, uh... Oh my god. Okay, there, there. That's, that's as close as I can get. I'm in autofocus. I can't... It's just doing autofocus that close is blowing my mind. What about you? I mean, I am like this close. I am this close. It's incredible. It is incredible. Let me try something other than a watch. Um, let's see. I don't have a lot of interesting things here. Huh? Maybe this knife, this knife, the screw on this knife, maybe. All right, let's see if we can do something there with that. I mean, just a shot like this, you know, you can do F5. So much depth of field, though. Oh, man. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Do you see that? I took it out of, you know, automatic. I, I took it out of AFS. I put it in M. Um, yeah, that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to get it closer. Let me get it closer. See how close I can get. <laughs> Jeez. Let me do this. I'm going to take this off the tripod and get a couple. We'll do like one, one or two more, and then I will we'll get those raw files published, and you can then pull them up. I'm just going to try and uh, see if I can... Just want to get it close. Lots of light here. God, I wish I... I don't know if you can see. Yeah, okay, look through the overhead. Look at how close I am to the knife, okay? The knife is right there. Look at that. Look at... Look, 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 look. You see that? And yeah... A focus rail would be good, <laughs> for sure, for sure. I'm doing the best I can with this. I mean, this is, you know, all right. So let me try it again. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna switch back to the view uh, through the camera. Okay, bear with me. We're gonna get this done. All right. So we're here. Um, oh wow. Well, okay. I am right butting up against the lens. I couldn't be any closer. I'm going to have to move it back a little. Talk about depth of field. Okay. Oh, I honestly, I could play with this thing all night. I love this thing. Um, I have some thoughts on it, just in what I've seen so far. But I really don't feel that I've given it enough testing to report back. So a video will be coming of this. Um, there's a few things I need to test within the aperture ranges. Um, right now, I feel like, all right, I looked at F5, I looked at 8, and I looked at 2.8. Um, the autofocus, though, I can tell you right now is really fast on this lens. I mean, it was, it was boom, boom. It was picking it up. And that's on an X-T3. I also want to test it out on an X-T5 as well. I think there will be even faster autofocus with this lens on that. 
Um, so let's do this. Let me just, before we continue the stream, I want to take out this um, card here, right here. I'm going to put this in the computer, okay? You can do whatever you want with these photos. I, they're, you know, consider this statement your license to do whatever you want with them, okay? I don't care what you do with them. They're not great photos. They were taken on a live stream rushed with, with con conditions I cannot work with. So, you know, I'm doing my best here, but it's something. It's, it's to get you some raw files right now, particularly that last one. I think that one will be helpful. All right, so... Uh, hold on one second. I gotta, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm opening up the folder on my computer. And what I will do is I will put the JPEGs and these are uncompressed raw files and JPEGs. I'm going to put both of these in one folder. Uh, I'm going to call it 30 millimeter Fuji macro. Here it is. Okay, hold on. It's uploading right now. Of course, it's taking a, a few seconds because I'm broadcasting this stream and it's slow, but it's okay. So while that's going, let me look at the uh, at the chat. Let me look at the chat. Um, this is a lens, absolutely, that I want to try with focus stacking more than anything else. Now I've made videos on focus stacking, and I would say that how would this lens stack up again? <laughs> how would this lens stack up against the focus stacking feature? on the X-T5. I use focus stacking a lot, and I love it. The I set the automatic feature, I set it to, I think it's five, I'll have my number settings. If you want those, let me know and I'll drop them in the description, but I use the focus stacking feature on the camera quite a bit. I used to do it manually, you know, focus there, like that, and then I bring them in. Now I just do it in the camera most of the time. Um, they're both good methods, but the camera is pretty good at that. But I'm just wondering how this lens, it depends on the lens, obviously, and how good will this lens perform with Fujifilm's focus stacking feature on the T5. Um, so I'm going to check that. I'm going to demo it also on the T4. And yeah, that'll be part of my testing. Please let me know in the comments, do you have any questions on this lens that you would like answered as best I can before you consider getting one? Okay, help me out. I don't know what each of you would need. So, you know, if I can see a common thread here, I will definitely try and and do a video on it and help out because I this lens, I think, is is a keeper for sure. Okay, uh, we're almost done with uh, I need a mouse. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let's see if I can make this work. So I got the photos in the in the upload area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, get link. I'm just going to say public. Anybody on the planet can have it. I don't care. Copy link. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I hope I got the right folder. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I should have checked this stuff. Okay. So can it be a portrait lens? Good question. Um, well, I'm going to test something in just a second. That's a good question. Let me see if I can add a comment and add the link. Okay, here's the link to download the raw files. And boom. Here we go, folks. Uh, I don't know. I think this will work. Let, yes. Okay. Help me out here. I want somebody to click on this thing. Don't worry. You're not going to get a virus or anything. Click on this thing and tell me if you can see the, the JPEGs and the, the files in there. Yeah, it's funny. I didn't even look at these. I just, I didn't see the icons if these are in fact. Yeah, they are. Okay. The one that you want to look at in terms of judging, I think is the 0005.raf. Okay. Check that one out. Um, so go check that link out. While you're doing that, let's just do another quick kind of look at, look, see with this. Let me turn this on. Let's go here. All right. You know what? Let me get a, a memory card back out. Good. Great, great. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Hey, Vishal is here. How you doing, Vishal? Good to see you. Okay. So, back on... Is the battery dead already? No. Okay, almost dead. So, go here. All right. Can you use this as a portrait lens? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Let me put it on... Uh, Let's see, hold on. Okay. 
Um, I'm just going to auto everything and just see where we're at. <laughs> this is the... You're going to see my mug here, but... All right. This is the best I can do, folks. I don't have a, you know, right at this moment in time, a professional model in the house. Um, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best I can do. Um, let me take. Let's take a look at those. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I got to look at them with you. So hold on. I'm just putting them in, and then it'll be done. I'm tired of doing all these demos. I want to talk to you. Go here. I'm opening up the SD card. And there's the photo. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I look terrible. All right. Let me. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. All right, hold on. I gotta put the photo in here. Just a second. I gotta put the photo in here. Okay, come on. There we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, that's not bad though. I mean, forget the subject, okay? F forget the subject. Um, you know, just please look past that, okay? Look, it's honestly the answer for portrait? Yeah! Why not? I mean, look at this thing. I mean, it's not bad. Now, this, this was taken at... Uh, what was it take? Oh, I had it on automatic. Um, let me check. Hold on. If I can... I'm going to open this in... Uh, hold on a second. <sighs> I'm going to get that, that spec for you in just a minute. Oh, boy. Here. I can put it back in here. It's probably faster. Sometimes I just throw the SD card back in the camera to get the specs. I'm going to disconnect it from here. Okay, so the photo that... Uh, this photo right here... This photo right here is F5, okay? At 1600 ISO, 1 180th of a second. This is F5. This is F5. Wow, on a macro lens. On a macro lens. I really want to play with this. I, um, yeah. And I can't do it tonight, but I really, really, really am impressed with this lens. More than I thought I'd be. I mean, I knew it'd be a great macro lens, but I didn't think that it would get a shot like I just showed you. I'm surprised, frankly. So 30 millimeter focal length, um, prime macro lens, one-to-one, -one, weather resistant, Okay, um, it, it ticks a lot of boxes, folks, you know, ticks a lot of boxes and it get the focus distance is so close. You're going to have to take this hood off. You're definitely, you're, you know what? Oh. Yeah, you're, you're definitely going to have to um, take the hood off because I think, well, barely. Yeah, I see. I see not using this hood a whole lot <laughs> on this thing, but anyway, that's the lens. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd like to see. I hope the raw files are helpful to you. You know, uh, one last look. This is what you get with a f5 right there. Okay, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna definitely cover this lens in in way more detail. Oh, what a crazy week. So. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention that the lens also has 11 blade aperture. Um, again, it's it's a lot like that 35 millimeter f2. Um, yeah, and and the focal range equivalent at full frame 35 millimeter is 45 millimeters. So on a cropped sensor like this camera, you're going to get 30, but full frame equivalent is 45 with a one-to-one -one macro, okay? Okay. We got through that. We, we did it. Uh, how many live streams do you know on a, any photography channel that they shoot the photos in the stream and make the raw files available for you right during the stream? Maybe they do, I don't know. But that was a first for me. So, all right, let's check back in with the stream. We are at 350 people watching. This is great. This is really cool. Andrew, thank you so much for the super chat. That is great. I know these things are draining all our funds, I'll tell you. Um, 
And yes, that is absolutely, Kenneth, is, is what I am going to be doing. Let's take this lens outside of macro and really put it through its paces. That's, that's where my head is at. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I, you know what? I could do that. The 56 1.2. Um, B and H will send it as long as I mention the, you know, thank you to B and H and give an affiliate link. They'll send that to me. So B and H has been awesome. They've been so helpful to this channel. So yeah, absolutely. Um, here we go. Vishal. Yeah, just bought the 80 millimeter with OIS. Oh, and that's another thing. OIS. So, oh, I can't help myself. Thanks a lot, Vishal, with the OIS. So I've got, what is this? An X-T3. No, I can't demo with that. Do I have an X-T4? Um, the X-T4 is being used. I wanted to demo this with image stabilization. I'll, I'll, um, I'll do that as part of the review. I'll do that as part of the review. Um, okay. So I do, Natalie, I have two of them now, <laughs> right? Oh, I'm sorry. I just did the F word or the F sign in, is it England with the two fingers? I, somebody pointed that out. I didn't know that, but if you, I, I, cause I was rallying off. Well, at first it has this and then it has this. And then I, ha I stuck it too. It's like, yeah, I was counting like specs of a camera and I held my hand up with the two, and I guess that's really bad somewhere in the world. So I apologize that I did that. I don't know if it's two fingers facing forward or backwards. I'm just not going to hold any fingers up anymore because I, you know, I don't want to upset somebody. So, but still, yeah, right. Oh, have I used the 33 millimeter yet? Not yet. Not yet, Thomas. Uh, do you know how long for them to ship the new XT5s? Okay. What I know is that there was definitely some shipping inventory issues that happened between either Fujifilm, B&H, perhaps the, you know, customs for all we know. They got caught up in customs, but there's definitely something going on. I recommend going to Fuji Rumors because 99.9% .9 they're going to be right. Um, so I, I don't know, um, cause I was told one thing by B and H and then within an hour it changed. Now, one thing I do know is that I ordered my X-T5 the minute it came available. If you waited and you waited a couple of weeks or whatever, you might be in the second or the third grouping and it could be another week before you see one. So, and that's if you ordered from B and H, um, you might want to try your local camera stores as well because you know, that's what I did with the X-T4. B&H didn't have any more X-T4s. So I contacted, not, it wasn't really local. It was a camera store out in Kentucky, but it was a local camera store somewhere local in Kentucky. And I had them ship it to me and I was able to get one. So call other camera stores. They don't necessarily have to be in your area. If you need that X-T5 like ASAP, then, you know, see if they can ship it to you. You know, you just might have to pay for the shipping. Uh, okay, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Is everyone doing okay? Any other things? Any, what did you think of the channel this week? We had four videos. It was the highest amount of material I have ever recorded in a single week on this channel. Yes, I'm burned out. Can't you tell? So, um, it, you know, we had five, five of these things. Um, we had the Instax. We started the week out with that. We got into the, you know, we had, no, not the Instax. I'm sorry. We did the iPhone 14 action mode. We kicked off Monday with that. We did, um, you know, the seven artisans review, this dust receive, receive, I still can't pronounce them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nobody can see me. Hold on. I still can't pronounce them. Um, and flash photography basics. That was a big one that came up today. Um, yeah, I, I do feel a little burnout. I must apologize to any vendors watching this. I have not checked and responded to any email, except from Fuji Rumors and Fuji Film. Anybody else, all the vendors, all that, I have not responded to anyone since Monday. I have not had the time. All I've been doing is editing and shooting videos. But I gotta ask you, because it, it, it was a tough week. It was a lot of stuff to do. Maybe four videos plus one live stream. That's five total content buckets. Maybe that's too much for one week. You know, let me know. Or 
if you really like that and you're just, hey, I want one video a day from you, pal to tech, the hell with your mental health. It, and that's okay too, if that's what you want, but let me know. Cause if I'm gonna, you know, have to do that, at least I wanna know people wanna see that. <laughs> but if it doesn't matter to anybody, I will slow the hell down and just do one, you know, that's fine too. But it was a tough week and um, it's Friday. I'm gonna be signing off in about 10 minutes. So it's coming to an end. I'm gonna turn off the lights in here and have a relaxing weekend and test the heck out of this and the X-T5. It's gonna be such an awesome weekend. What are your plans? Let me know your weekend plans in here. This is funny because I can see on here who dislikes the video. Not who, but the fact that somebody disliked it, right? So there's like 133 thumbs up. Oh, is that a bad sign too? There's 133 thumbs up and there's one thumbs down. And so I, I must have said something about the lens, you know, somebody didn't like, but, um, <laughs> right? So, yeah. Um, flash, I'm just going back. I got to go back now. Did I miss any super chats? I hope, I hope not. Okay, good, good. Stacy, thank you. I just saw yours now. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This helps out a lot with the channel. Um, Natalie, I have a question for you. Um... <laughs> How did you add a flippy screen to your X-T5? And please share, I would like to know. Uh, I need to know that. Um, would, be, would be definitely something to know. Uh, okay, going back here, gonna go back earlier on in the chat. Focus stacks, yes, Tom, I will put those up there for sure. Oh, sorry, Mr. Spock, I will put those up there. Live long, can I do that thing? I can't do it. Live long and prosper. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So, weekend plans is to get recovered from a cold. John, man, that's, that's not good. You got to get better, pal. That's no fun. The last thing you want on a weekend is to be sick. You know, <laughs> that's like the worst. That's as bad as being sick, you know, during the summer when it's beautiful and sunny out. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. You all are so awesome. I'm going to be signing off. Uh, any other final questions about B&H shipping? I can answer as best I can. I didn't have that long of a conversation with him, but I, I did talk to him. Um, the X-T5, the 30, and of course, the, the grip here. Yeah, I'm just looking, I just gotta look at this one more time before we go. So yeah, it is identical to the X-T3, pretty much. Um, Interesting though, the ergonomics, that's the first thing I notice is the ergonomics and yeah, it's, uh, oh, I cannot wait to, uh, I like the new buttons better. I'll just tell you that right off the bat. I, I do, I like the placement, the sizing better. Um, and I am so glad that they kept the D-pad and the joystick. This is truly a photographer first camera. Um, focus mode selector dial on the front. Thank you, Fuji. Do I wish it had a flippy screen? Yes, I do. That's just me. I know that a lot of you are rejoicing that we're back to this. And I'm happy for you. I think that's great. I, personally, I like the... The other reason I also like the flippy screen is because of my... I don't have the X-T4, but it protects you know, protects the back of the camera. And do you all get lens protectors? Like, do you all go out and get covers for these or, you know, protectors for your phones? Do you do, you do that? I, I don't, but I'm just wondering if, is that something that, you know, you recommend doing? And I think about it and, um, yeah, agree with you, Natalie, it does rock. But um, I, you definitely have to have some protection on this because you can't flip it around like the screen. So, uh, yeah, yep, yep. And this is interesting, I just noticed this. They put a Bluetooth icon, this is new, right on the DISP back button, which is kind of odd, but okay. I, I don't think that was the best idea because if you wanted to reassign that button to something else, you know, and not have it turn on Bluetooth, um, 
and maybe I don't know enough about the camera yet, but I would I don't I would want to have that button do something else. But right now it's hard painted on that that's the Bluetooth button. So and a Bluetooth is not something I use a whole lot anyway. I'm just I'm surprised that they actually painted that on there. That's interesting. I hadn't I didn't catch it during their launch, but this looks like an amazing camera. I am very very lucky. Thank you to Fujifilm for sending one to me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. you know who you are watching this video. I hope you're watching. And it it really means a lot to me that you you got this out to me so fast. So all right, I will send it back because I have my own now and, and we're good. All right, folks. Um thank you for joining me on this Friday. I wish you the very best of I wonder if I could show you this. Check this out. I just want you to see this thing. So I got this new little thing. I mean, I've had this, but you know how in the past when I've been doing these live streams, like I will say kind of, and if you like the video, be sure to, and then I kind of go over here and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't need to do that anymore. I've, I've leveled up a little bit. I've leveled up a little bit. So now I have a button. Check this out. So th th I have this button here. Look, look at this button right here. Okay. Give it the like and subscribe, right? <laughs> so now, if I want the like, it, so, so let me show you how it works. I don't even have to think about it. I can just be like this. I can just be, thank you so much for joining my live stream. And if you, know, if you like this live stream, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. See? We're getting better. We're getting better with age here. Okay, folks. Now, do I have one to end the stream? No, I don't have one to end the stream. I, I even created one for like news. Like if I have any channel news from Pal to Tech Watch, I'll press the news button right now. If you're wearing headphones, be careful. Just a warning. Here goes. Okay, that's my news graphic thing. You, you can tell I have all this time on my hands to make these, these little goofy things. These are like my little toys. They're, you know, it's a tax write-off for the channel. All right. Listen, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. If I missed your comments, I will see them in the playback. I will. This will be available on the channel very shortly. So if you missed the live stream or the beginning of it, you can watch the entire thing in its entirety. I will also put a link to the raw files because I put it in the super chat or the, the chat window. I will put it in the description of this video. So anyone watching this, you know, tomorrow or next week can get those raw files. I will keep those up there. And once I do a full blown review of this lens, we'll have much better raw files for you. Okay. Thank you everyone. And, uh, I'm going to sign off now. Have a wonderful weekend. And do I have an outro music on? Oh, I, I got a button for the outro too. Check it out. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye everyone. It's been a great week. May you get your X-T5 super fast. I'm, I'm sending thoughts to FedEx, to UPS, to DHL. Get those cameras out there. FedEx, if you're watching this. B&H, if you're watching this. Burn some midnight oil. Get those cameras out to everyone, okay? All right. Have a great weekend, folks. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you real soon. Three, two, one.